I'm realizing I just want to watch Monday Night Football and eat a pizza with like a good group of guys. I'm sorry, did you ask me something? My name's Greg Trowell and I'm looking for love. In a town of over 8 million people, you have to assume at least a hundred of those gotta be women. <laughs> First off, a little bit about myself. I make $7,000 a year, my penis is the size of a tooth, and my favorite comedian is Joey from Friends. Nothing is funnier than getting kicked in the nuts. Period. I've only been in two cults. And a third one, but it was for such a short amount of time. I'm making a vision board of all the guys' asses I'm gonna be. I'm kinda just hoping to get adopted by some famous people and do the whole nepotism thing. <laughs> Uh, I just feel like I keep getting more and more turned on each day. <laughs> Sometimes I just be saying shit that's like funny. And not like, oh, that was funny, but like, funny. My sister's uh, cousin's second sister's uncle, twice removed, who has hot flashes, saw Ferris Bueller at 31 Flavors last night getting his thang sucked. <laughs> No, 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 uh, I'm just messing. Our God is an awesome God, he raised from inevitable. I used to work for a Fortune 500 company, but I was fired for trying to do some stuff that was very similar to what happened at WeWork and all that shit. But my boss was pretty awesome about it. It's gonna be so awkward without you. I know, I know. Who am I gonna drink beer with now? I know. You're my I best know. friend. I live in Brooklyn. <laughs> Sometimes I just drive down the exact same streets as Jeff Daniels' character and squid in the whale, and I think to myself, man, that guy was such a fucking loser. I have one friend, and yep, he's weird. <laughs> we just love to day drink and grill out, but sometimes we're just not on the same page. Is it? Is it? Yeah, actually, me and my weird friend were writing a movie. There is nothing manlier than film! It's dark meets funny. It's Stan Brackage meets Mr. Bean. It's Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon meets Ben Affleck's construction job in Good Will Hunting. It's a cross between Vanilla Sky when Tom Cruise goes, Gah! and in The Social Network when Andrew Garfield says, Hey, man. Drop the the. It's the homosexual subplot in that thing you do that was cut out of the movie where Tom Hanks is in a relationship with Howie Long, crossed with the soundtrack of Snatch. It's a cross between the 1970s political drama, a la All the President's Men, and just the part in Nightmare on Elm Street when Freddy Krueger goes, Fuck me! Oh, hey. Sorry, I was just thinking, like, about how hard it is for me, because, like, I'm so dangerous. Ah, what a country. Sometimes I just think about our founding fathers, and I wonder if when they wrote the amendments, it was like when the cast list goes up for a high school play. All those guys gathered around the list, hoping theirs made it. it makes me so sad to think about all those kids who never got a chance to act. <laughs> I mean, shit, they could have been finding Forrester. One time I watched Finding Forrester and I got so inspired that I went to the park to find my own basketball kitty to write a little story there or whatever. Turns out he was horrible at basketball. He was dirty, rude, and he lived inside my house like a little rat for three whole months. He ate all my snacks and laughed his ass off at my home videos. And his writing samples were... sort of a letdown. Till the one day when the lady met this fellow and they knew that it was much more than a hunch That this group must somehow form a family That's the way we all became the Brady Bunch The Brady Bunch The Brady Bunch That's the <laughs> way we became the I just can't with millennials. Men. Nah, they don't make them like they used to. <laughs> Shoot, my grandfather. Now that was a man. He was the first person to ever be fired from NASA. The fucking blimp or whatever it is gonna go in the fucking sky and do a little flip and fucking... Uh. 
What am I doing with my life? Shit, I used to work at the Levi's store, but they fired me for releasing a line of pants that finally say what guys want on the ass. At least my boss was awesome about it. I love you. I really I know. love you. Yeah. You know that. I know. You're my best friend. I know. I have nothing. I'm such a loser. What year will I start getting younger? Every morning I Google how much rejection is normal. It took me years to learn that underwear is where you put your ass in balls. Every time I order food at a restaurant, someone always says, Hmm, interesting. How come local law enforcement hates it so much when the FBI shows up? My parents tried to genetically modify me to look like Hey Arnold. But it failed. Sometimes I just feel like pirates keep giving me r matey vibes. Why won't the queer-eyed guys just leave us alone? I want to find someone. Sometimes I think I'm destined to be alone. I just have this feeling no one will ever love me. I mean, how could they? I suck. Why can't I find someone now? Everyone else has someone. You know that thing in Kung Fu movies where someone gets kicked and they go flying through the air, spin around like a football? Why does that keep happening to me? Shit! Hey man, I may have had a few, but I'm so good to vote. <laughs> Why can't love be like the movies, you know? Where you're staring at the sunset, got no hope left, and by some miracle an angel just pops out of the woods or some shit. And you lock eyes and you just know. It's true love. Hi! <laughs>